It means Jesus is the reincarnation of God. God placed his spirit into Jesus to be on this earth so we can understand. So God can understand this better. So before we did not understand God? To be honest, I didn't come here to debate. I just came here no, to No, just ask a question, I, brother. I don't wanna I don't wanna go into it. No problem. It's not my What do you know about Islam? What do I know about Islam? I know some stuff, but I don't know everything. Okay, it's just clear Islam. Islam who believe in God, who is a perfect God. He created us for a purpose, okay? And he chose people amongst us to convey his, his message. Like Moses, Abraham, and we believe one of them, Jesus. We believe Jesus to be the true Messiah, but we don't believe he's a God or a son of God. We believe all those prophets and messengers were chosen by God to convey the message how to worship God. You understand? All of them came to call people worship God alone. And the last of them is the prophet Muhammad. You understand? So when you look to Islam, Islam is a simple way of and also we believe the Quran has been preserved and we believe the Bible has been changed you understand that's our belief and we can we can see because the, the language I don't know where. Come see. Hadith, hadith did not okay. come from Allah I don't know where. anyway did not okay. come from so, Allah. so the point here is that we can see the language that Jesus spoke we don't have it anymore so we are relying on translators we don't know them so we don't know if they lied about Jesus or not but when it comes to Quran we still have it in its pure language. That's why if the Jews and the Muslims and the Christians, all of them burn the scriptures, the only scripture that we can have back is the Quran. Because one of the miracles of the Quran, it has been memorized by hundreds million of people. What I will say is any Christian who comes here to debate is not a true Christian in my belief. Why? But in the Bible says, let's reason. That's understandable, yeah. But yeah. somebody who doesn't understand, somebody who's never been touched by God cannot speak on behalf of God. And God doesn't say to go and debate or go and argue these type of things. But he said, let's reason. Let's reason means discuss. Reason with somebody who can discuss. comprehend. Somebody yeah, no, let's... Let, let, so if you've never been touched by the Spirit of God, you, you, you can't understand it. Yeah, but Jesus never came to people who said, before I speak to you, you have to be touched by God. He never said that. God also said, don't cast your pearls upon swine. Yeah, I understand that, but when Moses, Abraham, all those prophets and messengers came to people, some of them were pagans. They never told them, before I speak to you, let God touch you. That's true. You understand? They came, they called them to worship God alone, either by showing a miracle or a prophecy or the teaching that makes sense to them. You understand? Yeah. Because by your logic, I have respect. Now, if someone comes to me, say, what is it, why Islam is the truth? I said, I can't tell you what Islam is the truth until you have dream. No, no, we don't say that. We can, that's why Islam is so different, because Islam has universal proofs for everyone to analyze and look at to see why Islam is the truth. It's not subjective, it's objective. But when it comes to other religions, you have to have Holy Spirit. But before I believe there is Holy Spirit, you have to prove that to me. Otherwise, a blind faith. But you can't prove something to somebody that, that doesn't understand, if that makes sense. If uh, he doesn't understand because of the language or doesn't understand it's why? Like, it's like saying, oh, football is such a great sport. Yeah. You've never played it, how do you understand? But explain to the person. Yeah, I don't want to explain. It's like teacher telling you in school, maths is very interesting and it's very nice. However, I'm not going to explain to you. No, that's, that's the wrong way to look at it. Yeah, it, it's, okay. Islam is so beautiful. Explain to me. No, you have to be touched by God. I have to explain to you why Islam is so beautiful. Why Islam is the truth. That's why the Creator, when He sent the prophets and messengers, He sent them with the absolute truth in order for you and I and everyone to not reject them. Because if we do reject them, therefore we are doing it out of arrogance or because of social reason. Because the truth that Jesus came with and Moses came with and all the prophets and messengers, it was so clear. Anyone that rejected it, it was arrogance. And Prophet Muhammad came with the truth. But I'm not talking about what Paul said or what Luke and Mark and Matthew, I'm talking about Jesus. Well, all I'm going to say is Christianity is a religion of love. So some, somebody who doesn't understand that, isn't able to comprehend it. Am I right in saying it. that when Jesus was asked, what is the greatest commandment? His response was, to love the Lord your God with all your heart, your soul and your strength. And the other is like it, to love your neighbor as yourself. On these two, hang up, prophets and the law. So we have the wrong... You know, it's out of respect. He was talking to me and he just jumped. But I'm going to correct him. Jesus said to you, Jesus said in the Bible, you cannot, my be, you cannot be my disciple until you hate your mother. Until you hate your mother. Jesus' disciple, let me show you. That was, that's just uh, hyperbole. Okay, I, I, say, I've never heard that. Show I'll show you here. How much you should you. love your Oh, yes, thank you. you know yes, I mean? yes, yes. Hyperbole. So that's, that's the whole point. Because somebody who's not a believer won't be able to well. understand. You should pluck your eye out. Yeah. Okay, you now what, what he said? What he said? 
Yeah. So when he said the hate, what does it mean? What it means is, it's not. That's the thing about Christianity, yeah. And a lot of people come here to argue. You can't argue. You, there's no. Possible well, to argue. you can understand it. If you can't, my reason for that, yeah, is that quote can be very easily misinterpreted. Yeah? Right? He used the word hate, but what he really means is you have to love God first before anything. But he used hate. First before anything. Even before your own mother, your own father, your the own Jews. I, 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 that's I, I, exactly. I, I, I understand that, but hate was there, so the translator mistranslates. No, it's not. It's just somebody who's been raised as a Christian will truly understand. But it also says you but should. Uh, but you're two father. Christians. Yeah, exactly, I understand. Exactly. Another I understand. That. I understand you know, that. I'm with Lord if he wants me to. Yeah, but, no, but, 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 but both of you, okay. Yeah. Is God, does God love everyone? Yeah, he does. So when God said kill the babies or the children, is that is love? You, what you're doing right now, you're going to quote me on things that... No, no, no. Know, when God said to slaughter the babies alive, if I... Could you show me that verse? Yeah. Is it the Old that, Testament or is it the New Testament? The Old Testament. Uh, there you go. The Old Testament is not... Is not so so, so God, God is love part-time or all the time is God love? All the time. So when he said, okay, so when he said slaughter the children alive, was it all love in as well? Because this is the this is the this is why I say the mystery. Go, Samuel. No, you're you gonna read. What you're saying is, I don't okay, know. You're okay. To bring the Old Testament to now, but the Old Testament is the past. No, I'm not talking about the Old Testament. Yeah. Let me tell you. Jesus Christ said, once Jesus Christ came to planet Earth, he said, forget about the Old Testament. It's he didn't say that. He didn't say that. No, he didn't say that. He didn't say that. He's come to fulfill it. He did say no. not one jot and tip. Of yeah, no, no, he never said that. He never said that. My point is, the Ten Commandments are not. No, no, Jesus. When the young boy, I'll show you that you're wrong. When the young boy came to him. He said, oh, good master, what should I do to inherit the kingdom of heaven? Give away Jesus, he said to him, keep the commandments of God. And he's known to follow the Torah, the Old Testament. He never said to, so if the Old Testament is out of date, why Jesus is telling the young boy who is seeking the eternal life in paradise to keep the commandments of God, which is the Torah? Why is it to keep it? No, I will tell you what. I'm going to stone people anymore or sacrifice. No, 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 no. Jews, no, no, no. Okay, so the Jews, they didn't believe in Jesus. Are you going to follow them? Brother, you you can't utilize the Jews as an argument because some Jews rejected Jesus. We don't care about the Jews. What we care about Jesus more than anyone else. Why don't they? No, no. Why don't they sacrifice? Who do you care more about, Jesus or the Jews? Jesus. So when Jesus said to the young boy. Keep the commandments of God, which is the Old Testament. Was he right or wrong? Was he right or wrong when yeah. he said, "Keep the laws of the Old Testament"? Keep the I commandments. Need to, I need to see it first. So he says, he said, "Keep the commandments of God." The young boy said to him, "I have okay. been doing it since I was young." He said to him, "You are lacking one thing." Yeah. He said, "What is it?" He said, "Give your wealth away and follow me." So now, to, uh, so, so, that's in John or something. John, so so I can't remember the number now. Uh, the point here is, brother, that. Jesus clearly never said to the young boy, the Torah is, uh, is out of date. So what you said, you're wrong. You made a mistake. Really, really good Bible. So I wish I could find that. I'm not going to comment. No. Okay, no problem. But now it's Jesus saying that you can go back. My point here is, well, you, I'm not talking about, forget the Old Testament or the New Testament. I'm talking about God, who you believe is all loving all the time. All the time. Even in the, the time of the Old Testament, it was all loving. Yeah. Oh, he wasn't. So well, you know comments. But you said all the time. No, you already comments. I attempt comment to give something. No, but one second, one second, baby. Before. His permission. If he doesn't want to give it. No, but I want to make him understand something that he said God is all loving all the time. Yeah. If you say that, therefore, all the time, the past and the future. Yeah. You know, see, see, I could give a response. Yeah. Would you allow My me? Response to I will give you. No problem. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Yeah. What is all the time? He doesn't know how to define it. Okay. Okay. What we're talking about is there is an incident in the Bible where you can see. This no, no, that's not my question. My, uh, no, no. my question defined all the time. He, he's acting. No, my question defined all the time. Firstly, right. yeah. what is all the time? Which he said, God is all, God, he said, God is all loving all the time. Can you define it? Right. I think all the time. God is loving all the time, but however. I didn't say repeat it. Define, define all the time. Can I, can I build on that? Yeah. I believe that God is loving all the time, but we can, from our own experiences, see, I had a son who died. I still believe I didn't God ask you that. I didn't ask no, you that. No, no, define I'm, all the time. No, can I just I have respect. This. I define all the time. I'm going to, can you, I'm going brother, to, I'm I'll ask you to define all the time. Me, right? so, so what I'm saying is there are incidences in history and in our own personal lives where it seems that the loving God is not apparent because bad things happen to people. However, in God's relationship with the Jewish people, to bring about his own designs, there were verses in the Bible. I have respect to be this honest here because I ask you to God, define nothing, all the time. But all the time. What it means. What, all the time it's self-explanatory. No, but he, he said. So you mean the past too? 
Huh? You mean at the, the, in the past as well? Yeah, must do. Yeah, okay, that's, that's so that's my point. Yeah, my point is, no, it yeah. seems like it because he, the yeah. point here, I've asked the young boy here, he said to me that all the time goes all loving. So I said to him, was he all loving yeah, at the we'll time see, of the Old yeah. Testament? Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I said to him, is God all loving at the time of the Old Testament? He said, I'm not going to comment, which he already commented by saying, God is all loving all the time. Yeah. My point here, Things, evil things that's happening doesn't not mean God's not because we don't, we as a Muslim, yeah, we, we, we as a Muslim, we don't say God's all loving, we say God love those who deserve his love, deserve his love. God, God show mercy to everyone. God doesn't know if you tell me God loves you or God loves Pharaoh and Pharaoh is gonna be punished with the fire eternity, where is the love in punishing someone with the fire eternity? That doesn't make any sense. That's why many Christians left Christianity in the 19th century when David Hume utilized this argument, which he got it from the philosopher, from the Greek philosophers, if God is good, why there is evil? Why try to use that? Because the Christians say God loves everyone. We, as a Muslim, we don't say God loves everyone. God does not love the, 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 the disbelievers. God doesn't love the evildoers. However, God loves guidance for everyone because God's love is special to, to, in order to gain God's love you have to follow Jesus you have to follow Moses you have to follow Prophet Muhammad so Islamic way of defining God's love sure, 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 sure. no 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 I'm gonna finish I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna finish. Yeah, okay, okay. watch this the way uh, God's love being explained and defined in Islamic teaching mm. demolish the doubt of David Hume Completely, alhamdulillah. Okay, okay. Can we attempt to give our understanding of the no, New that's... Testament love? Okay, so so the way we understand it is that, that when we talk about a loving God, he loves us all the time. And when Jesus says there is more joy in heaven over one, unrep un one repentant sinner than all the righteous people, because God is, is sad that you're in the state you are. So when someone's a sinner, let's say, God doesn't love them, but he, he hates their condition. He loves them enough to want to bring them out of that condition. This is how we understand. So when Pharaoh is in the hellfire eternally, God yeah, loves him? Yeah. We understand you're in hellfire through your own choice. I didn't ask you that. Does God yeah. love him when he's inside the fire? The, the, if he's in hellfire now? Yeah. It's a question to ask you. Ask uh, no let, let me say this here. That God said, yeah, human talk cannot co comprehend the love of God. So what you're doing is you're yeah. trying to make our thoughts try and answer your questions when we can't do that. We don't believe that we're able to No, but we understand what is love. So God spoke to us in language in order for us to understand. Yes, yeah. we don't understand human everything. Amy, hey, hey, brother. We are, I agree with you. We don't so we cannot understand no the real No, hey, yeah. We we know we don't know everything about God, yes. But certain things that we're discussing, we know about God. We know God's love. Love, we know what is the meaning of love. Okay. How God possesses it, no, how God possesses it is different. Yeah, yeah. Now, in the Bible it said, God loved Jacob yeah. and hate who? Esau. Esau. So you just said, I'm going to show you now God hates okay. Esau. So what? Oh, okay, you, you dig that out. Yeah, watch this one. My explanation would be, as a loving parent, and you have to discipline your son. Yeah. No doubt about he's that. he's done something wrong. Yeah. And your son, you cause him pain and he's in tears. Do you still love him? You love him. But if you, so if, if, you, if, you if you touch him all the time, no, 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 that's not same. No same. God chastised his okay. chosen people to turn them round. No, yes, I agree. So these things have happened. If you punish your son with a fire eternity, would you love him? Well, see, I believe as a Christian, we choose to go. No, I didn't ask you that. No, I'll ask you. I'm not asking you. No, I, if you, as a parent, you keep torturing your son with a fire, without an end. Yeah, no, no, it's good. Would you say that I love him? Would no, any him? No, 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 no. Would any? You're asking for. You're telling no. us to speak for the living God. No, would any human being with sound reason says, "I love my, I'm touching my fire eternity"? Doesn't make any sense. No, no, but okay. Explain that. Explain, no, sorry, sorry. Explain that. When God said, sorry, when God said He loved Jacob, I'm going to show you to, to understand what I'm saying. Love Jacob. God can have favorites. And hate. Now, but God bless you. No, 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 before you leave, before you leave, before you leave, God loved Jacob. Uh, uh, yeah. There must have been a reason, I'm hoping. That's in the, in the, the New Testament, by the way, yeah? In the Romans. Jesus, as, just as it is written, Jacob loved, but Esau I hated. So God hates. Doesn't love everyone. That's in your Bible. Yeah. So. Why do you think God hated Esau? That's fine. Why, does he hate or not? Before why? That's okay. Okay. Right. So he doesn't love everyone.
You know what? If okay, my, if my child did something, I would hate them. For no, no, but he doesn't love. No, no. Count them out. no, no, no. He didn't say he hated sins. He hates Esau. You just told me God love everyone. Bring no, the you, whole context. I will hear. Tell, I'm not asking about the reason. I understand oh, yeah, there is a reason. Is the key to yeah. No, I understand there's a reason. Yeah. I'm not yeah. negating. But the point here is, he told me God loves everyone. But in the that Bible, God, but God hates Esau. Well, what's, what's, what's the, what does, what, tell, tell me more. What, what happened that? Look at what happened. The fact he hate him. What, why? What happened? What, what led to it? Is that, is that, is that, is that you know? Plain English. Okay, very plain English. <laughs> if one of my daughters. Anyway, did take care of yourself. I would say I hate you. Yeah, but you never said you hate him anyway. I don't need it, but you told me no, God love everyone. Yeah. yeah, of course. You love everyone. No, I don't love everyone. <laughs> You're both. LGBTQ and guest. Oh, yeah, oh, stop it. <laughs> Keep that hair short, man. Don't you? <laughs> it's getting out of hand. Look, you need one of these. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, they're into that and all, man. Look, they're everywhere. Hang on, where are they? Where are they? <laughs> now I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm okay. I, do enjoy, I enjoy it. I enjoy speaking to you as well, but my point here is that I know there's a reason God hates some people. But my point is, I'm not negating that. He you hates them. He yeah. hates the LGBT. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. I agree with that. And he loves. You know what I say? God loves guidance for them. He God does. loves he them to repent. No. Yeah, yeah. You see, we agree. No, we welcome to Islam okay. because Christianity. You oh, believe God yeah, everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but logically, yeah. doesn't make any sense. He loves them. That's why he hates. <laughs> if he did, oh, anyway, look, it's been He loves back. goodness for them. And you, is this yeah. your friend or no, your... Brother, yeah. your brother? It's a little brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, uh, there's uh, anyway. There's a quality end down here. You know, there's lots of shows on, on display. You can pay your money and get entrance fee, but you get great value with Shams. <laughs> you get more than more Shams sometimes than you want. No. <laughs> <laughs> Take care of yourself. But anyway, brother, yeah, well, I will leave you with pray to the God of Jesus, the God of Abraham, to guide you to your truth. God bless you. Right. Take care. What, what country are you from? Are you mixed? Yeah, I'm from Nigeria and Russia. Na Nigeria? I'm Russia. Oh, Russia, Russia. That's, uh, you know, yeah, I was going to say that, but I respect that. Okay. I was going to say that. I know, I know a, a sister that uh, she's half Nigerian, half Polish. Yeah. Yeah, that's this one. Close, but not enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, 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 uh, and Russia. Both uh, your parents are uh, Christians? Yeah. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Inshallah, you become Muslim soon, inshallah. You have to become Muslim, man. Yeah. Worship God to be saved. No joke. No, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> you have to worship God according to his teaching, according to, to the Romans. <laughs> Don't run. <laughs> Take care of yourself, yeah? <laughs> if you're going to force him with something. Yes, how are you? I'm all right. Because you were speaking behind me without any understanding the subject. No, I the didn't sub understand the subject. It's yeah. about hell. But hate, hate. Hate okay. and yeah. hell, yes. Yeah, yeah, but uh, what we're talking about, the, 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 he was trying to negate that God mm -hmm. hates some people. But in the Bible clearly said he hated someone. That's what was my point. Yes, but then again, that's why we have people studying the Bible to understand in the context of times that it was written. Yeah, but the Jewish people accept God hate people. Well, I don't, I'm not Jewish, so yeah, I but the Old Testament. to them. Yeah, but the Old Testament for Jewish people. Yes, but I'm not Jew. I'm yeah, so, so, so who, when I go to, to, to the Old Testament, mm -hmm. who should I go back to to understand it? To you or to the Jewish people? Well, I would say us, because we understand the whole revelation. But Jewish people, they say it's them, because it was given to them. They can say whatever they want, I don't need to accept them. Yeah, but the Jewish, they can tell you, you say whatever you want, we don't accept you. Like I said, you can say whatever you want, you're a free person. Anyway, you believe Jesus to be God? Yes. Is God perfect all the time? I would say the way we understand it. Yes. What do you mean, do we, of course, the way we understand it, the tree, how we understand it? We're talking me and you. The way we understand God is perfect. In my opinion, yes. No, God, God is not in need of nothing. He's self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with that? Yes. Yeah. So you believe God became a baby? Yes, we took a human form. He had a, we believe that he was both God and both human. So, so he, never, he never relinquished his godly power. So when he was inside the woman, that was God as well? Yes, but you have to understand that godly reality and human reality in Christianity are two different things. God no, no. lives outside of time. So he was not inside the mother's... Uh... He was. So was he inside or outside? You don't understand. For us, the God has double nature. He's a true God and true human. I'm not asking you. Was God inside the Mary's womb? Yes. He was inside. Was he outside? Yes, he was born. So the cute thing is human. No, no, before when he was nature, inside, yes. that God was inside. That was God inside. Huh? In his human nature form, yes. But he, he told me he was... Inside. He told me he was God as well. No. God exists outside of time and our reality. So even though he was in human form, he did not relinquish his godly 
nature as well. And okay. space exists outside of time, outside of physics, space. Let me repeat the question. Yeah. When Jesus was inside, the baby, yeah. that was Jesus. Sorry. Was that God as well? Well, he is a God, but it doesn't mean that he, his godly nature is physically there. You understand? So he wasn't God? He was God, yes. So he was inside the woman? God. So that's what I'm saying. So when he was inside Mary, he was God and a man at the same time? Yes, but we need to have some understanding of how we look at it. Because you try, I, I, I'm explaining to you. Bro, did Jesus speak like you? He's both human and both God. And, the, and so he was God. So that Jesus, mm -hmm. the baby Jesus, he, that was inside the Mary's womb, it was God and a man at the same time? Yes. So Mary was bigger than him? No, of course not, because God has no size. He doesn't understand. If he has no so size, how was, how was inside the, uh, the, the, the mother, the womb? That's what I'm explaining you, because he, had, he took up dual nature. So he was, he, he did, took human form, but he did not relinquish his God nature. This ring, this ring is inside the, the bottle, yeah? Yes, it is. This ring, yeah? But this God is not, but this ring is not a godly No problem, God. no problem. The baby Jesus, yeah. when he was inside Mary's womb, yeah. was that God or not God? He was God, yes. So it's inside Mary's womb? Jesus, yes, he's, as he has dual form. Right? Yeah, as God, as God, form was there, yes. as a man and as a God was inside. He, I, I answered this question seven times. No, you know, an answer. Time. No, 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 you know. You're doing is throwing riddles upon riddles. Yeah, riddles. You're no, just playing with riddles. riddles. No, no, it is riddles. Uh, it is riddles. So we understand that it's a riddle. Yeah. It's a riddle. Because why? I'm explaining that you're trying. No, you, to, he, he says, he says trying. yes, then he says thereby it's outside time. Okay, you're trying to apply human logic and human physics. Human logic. What are we going to apply? So outside. You, outside physics, outside time. So he was not inside because the marriage more womb is physics, inside physics. It's a human body. He was, yes. I'm telling you, he has dual nature. No. This is the explanation in Christian theology. So, uh, just You're yes or no? Just yes or no? Go, Jesus as a baby. Yeah. He was a baby and a God at the same time. Yes. And he was inside Mary. No, he, Jesus was inside Mary. Yes, so God was inside Mary. That depends how you put it. Look, he's playing around. He's telling me. What do you mean how you put it? So as a, that, he was not simple question. As if Jesus as a baby was a God and a man at the same time, mm -hmm. that baby, it was God and a man at the same time. It was not two different beings. It was one being inside has two nature. Was yeah, inside two, nature. two natures. No, but God is not restricted by physics. So he was not inside. <laughs> where? So he was not inside the Bible. He was everywhere. Inside her, outside her, everywhere. God is everywhere. So he was, so, he so, was uh, everywhere. He was everywhere. Yes. So every human is God and a man at the same time. No, we all live in God. Oh, take care of yourself. Alhamdulillah for Islam. <laughs> Look after yourself. That's why Christians become Muslim. It doesn't make any sense. He knows it doesn't make any sense by just playing with words. It's just what because, you're saying. Because if because Jesus... You like the answer. If, no, because you thought you had the you answer. Point and, you, and it didn't work. Bro, you keep contradicting yourself. Huh? You contradicting yourself. I contradict myself. Okay. Did Mary know that she, was, she had God inside her? Yes. Show me in the Bible she says that. She was told. Show me in the Bible. I don't. I am Catholic. I don't. Uh, Bible is not the only source of revelation to me. Ah, so the Bible. Where is the other source? Uh, apostolic tradition. Apostolic. So it says that Mary, she knew she was carrying a God. Yes. So, okay. How come she never prayed to Jesus? She well, prayed to the. How do you know she did? She didn't. He, she prayed to God. She prayed to God. He as a Catholic, you pray to Mary. You pray to Mary as well. I don't pray to Mary. I asked you, her to pray for me. Yeah, you prayed to her to pray for God. No, I asked her, like I would ask you to pray for me. So Did what Jesus, am I doing to Mary? So you asked Mary, what yeah. do you say? Because my wife is a Catholic and left it. Yeah, Mary so don't lie to me, I know. Pray for us sinners now in what do you the say? time of our death, for example. You asked Mary. Mary, pray for us. Mary, Mary can't do anything herself. Did Jesus in the Bible say, Mary, pray for me? Or he said, pray to Father directly? Why would you say that? Okay, you follow Jesus or who you follow? Huh? Who do you follow? See, the Christians, they follow Jesus, uh, George Michael, Michael Jackson, everyone they follow. I follow God did and Jesus, the people who gave us example did, how to follow God. Did Jesus pray to the Father sins. or pray to Mary? Why would he? What are you talking about? She was not God when she prayed I did ask you, did Jesus pray to the Father directly? Yes. So he didn't pray to Mary. Yeah, nobody prays to Mary. He never asked Mary to pray for him. We pray to Father directly. How do you know he never because he taught you how. He said, Oh Father who is in heaven, forgive us. He never said, Oh Mary, yeah, ask only, Father. We only know a very small part of it. Well, lie, you know, you know, uh, so we don't know. Years he lived. So maybe Jesus said to worship God. And Jesus does not need to ask anybody. Okay, how do you know Jesus never said, I'm not God? Maybe in other scriptures he said, I'm not God. I don't know. So, yeah. how do so you know, know sure. that there are no dwarfs? 
Are you not sure then? How do you know that there are no dwarves? So, because you told me Jesus said many things we don't know, correct? Mm -hmm. So how do you know from that teach from the teaching that Jesus because said we we're don't know? Back to the roots of faith. We have so you just blind follow the word of God and we believe it's true, same as you believe that Quran is true. Anyway, let's go back to the points here. That's the, that's the point. Oh, that's the point. Where the believing part okay. comes in. Quran you know, is also do, for do you know why it's paradox? You know why it's paradox? Yes. Where is paradox? What paradox? Huh? Paradox, for example, if you say God become a baby, that's paradox. It's not a paradox. Okay. Is a baby created? Yes. Is God created? No. So how someone is any created become created? A poor short man, does that make sense? Okay. He was conceived. It, like I said, it was his human form again. He became a baby. You're, you're, you're again trying to... It's a paradox, that's what I'm saying. No, it's not a paradox. Okay. Is God self-sufficient? Yes. Yes, yes. When he became a baby, his mother, she breastfed him. So he was in need of food. He cannot be the same God who is self-sufficient. Simple, logical, okay, rational he's still way. God, so he can, for example, create food for him if he wanted to. There you go. So he's in need of food. I think he's human form because he took the human form. What's, what's so confusing about this? I so understand. if he takes a human form, yes. therefore he's restricted and to human nature. He's human form? Yeah, to human form. But it's only because he's restricted by physics. He's not in his godly nature. Ah, oh, brother, take care of yourself. Well, Alhamdulillah. <laughs> This bro is laughing, the brother. Well, I laugh, Akhi, laugh. No, I, I will tell people stop laughing, but laugh, Akhi. Well, lie is a joke. Well, lie is a joke. He said God is not restricted by any physics, but he become human being, which is human nature to be restricted. Like, well, come on, again, man. Alhamdulillah for Islam. Islam, simple way. God who is perfect, he created the creation, he trusts people amongst us, he told him to convey the message to worship God alone. Simple. simple. Is not necessarily true. No, simple mean that God who create us. He, huh? You want it's confusion? It's confusion, it's truth. No, it's not confusion. You, you want it's confusion? Really study a little bit more. Study what? God become a baby, someone says nothing. No, Catholic theology, if you want to discuss it, because obviously you don't understand it and you try to. Discuss no, I, I don't want to understand it because why? And even, it wasn't a discussion, just creating some gotcha point, trying to catch me with some little logical tricks. So I can Some delay is logical yeah. tricks. Yeah. Some delay is logical. I showed you. You showed me what? That God become baby. Does not apply. No, you just showed me that as a Christian you have sent off your brain. That's what you showed me. What I showed you? You showed me as a Christian to believe in Christianity you have to send off your brain. Don't use your brain. That's what you just showed no, me. I think because Christianity is a bit more complicated, you need to use it to say that Islam is. Yeah. Simple, so I think it's easier. God become a baby and someone says he's nappy. So is again, a... your logic is a bit faulty here. No, it's not because the logic of your God was beaten up by the Romans. Yeah. He said, yes, the black God, take care of yourself. He just admitted God was beaten up by the Romans. Yeah, he was flogged. What's, what's, uh... God was flogged. I'm free from your belief and you free my belief. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Oh, wow. Look this guy. Well, I'm free. On the camera, he said, God was... Imagine God, the Almighty, was getting beat up by the Romans. He said, yes, look. May Allah heal you. Let's take care of yourself. <laughs> he was getting beat up because he loves us. What logic is that? God getting beat up. So therefore, God be has less power. The humans are more powerful than him. Well, like Christians become Muslim. Alhamdulillah. Did you come every Sunday to use you for Christians to become Muslim? I will never become Muslim. No, no. I want to use you for the Christians who have a sound reason to accept Islam. Uh -huh. Because the fact that on the camera you said God was beaten, getting beaten up, that doesn't make any sense. Alhamdulillah for Islam. Alhamdulillah. Say it on camera, it's everywhere in the no, no. For the Christians out there, are sincere. To know Christianity as a preacher standing here, you I'm are. Not a preacher, just where, where you are? Tourist. Tourist, huh? Well, I don't come back, below. <laughs> where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Poland. Poland, that's it. Well, I accept Islam, worship God alone. No, never. Except you never say never, you know? No, I'm saying that. Yeah, don't know. Huh? You never know, you become. Like here in 10 years. I, I, I'm a people that they said never, they become Muslim. Yeah, you know, people make mistakes. In huh? I'm I'm Alhamdulillah for Islam. <laughs> worship God, you know. Moses never believed Jesus to be God. Nowhere in the Old Testament. Look, watch this here. Look, logical way. Rational. Moses, Abraham, Noah, Jacob, Isaac, Jeremiah, Daniel. All of them say worship one God. God is not a man. In the Old Testament, God is not a man. The Christian, God become a man. Muslim, Prophet Muhammad came. God is not a man. So Prophet Muhammad goes in line, alayhi salatu wasalam, with the teaching of the prophets and messengers. So the first prophet, according to Christians, who is he? Jesus. Revelation no. does not end with Old Testament, but with New Testament. No. So understanding of the Old Testament. No, no. The Old Testament never teach God is a man. Teach God is not a man. 
So therefore, the Old Testament was lying or the New Testament is a lying? Which one was lying? None of them are lying. How? Go in the Old Testament, God is not a man. In the Old Testament, uh, in the Old Testament, all the prophets and messengers, God's not a man. In the New Testament, God is a man. Prophet Muhammad came, God's not a man. So therefore, the New Testament is a pagan book. The Prophet Muhammad is a messenger of Allah because he said we worship Allah alone and they worship no one beside him. Where, when does the Old Testament come from? What times? Before Jesus or after? That's my point, even before yeah. Jesus. No, not yet. That's before my Jesus. point. So he wasn't Prove my point. Lord when the Old Testament was written. So what kind of argument is that? But after Jesus was God before that. He was always God. He says yeah, so he's the, one, he's the one who tricked you. He said he's not a man, then he became a man. He tricked you then. <laughs> How could he trick you? He said that God's not a man. He said God's not a man. Jesus, according to your belief, the God that said God's not a man is Jesus. Then he tricked people, he became a man. According to you, which doesn't make any sense. You know, the fact that you Sorry, said... you're saying according to me, none of the things you're saying are according to me. You, it's, it's I just remember I a ring inside. I just remember. But anyway, alhamdulillah, you know what I would say to you? Deep down, you know what you said doesn't make any sense. But because you have some psychological think Angus Islam is arrogance or looking down upon the Arabs, you're looking for any uh, uh, silly excuse to reject okay, so Islam. You, you come here off because you're very manipulative. I'm not manipulative, so alhamdulillah. I say worship God alone. <laughs> for example, you're giving me this little pep talk, you know, trying to it's work not, me. You know, I'm, no, I'm not saying you that. I, you know, I want good for you. I want good for you as a human being. Tell you to worship just, God. We're just talking here, you know. Bro, I'm, I, you know what I'm doing? I'm showing you many points which every human being with sound reason and agree with it. It goes and gets your belief. So you no... Go around, you know, find you hundreds of people here who would say gotcha arguments against Quran. Look at this, look at this, look at this. No, they will never find something objectively wrong. Found there, they, listen, find what's your name? So I didn't catch your name. Arthur. Arthur, yeah, my name is Shamsi. Arthur, you will never find any Christians here who has objective, objective criticism against Islam. Never. All right. that's never. That's your point. But all the Muslims have objective criticism against Christianity, which is God is perfect, has no beginning, no end. He's the all-powerful, and he became baby, and someone beat him up. Doesn't make any sense. He's got all-powerful all the time. So when he was getting beat up by the Romans, was he the same one who was all-powerful? Yes, he was all-powerful. And he was getting beat up. Yeah, if he wanted to, take care of yourself. Right. May Allah help you, man. Allah, may Allah. Anyway, my brothers and sisters, you know. To, to, to recap, he said God is all-powerful all the time. When he, when he was getting beat up, he was all-powerful as well. All-powerful means no one can overpower him. He overpowered everyone. But the outcome of Christianity, alhamdulillah, you know, alhamdulillah. Wallahi, people should become Muslim, worship God alone. Christianity doesn't make any sense. God become a baby, someone changes his nappy. Are you going to ask? Say again. <laughs> you can ask questions, no problem. I finished. I finished already. Oh, sorry. Yeah, go on. No, ask questions. No, I, I basically, well.